If your doctor just told you that you have anemia, what they mean is that your red blood cells are low and in particular a protein in your red blood cells called hemoglobin is low. You need hemoglobin to be able to transport oxygen from your lungs to everywhere in the body. And if your uh, hemoglobin is low, the symptoms that you can have is you can feel tired, have a hard time concentrating, or uh, if it's very low, you can start to feel short of breath, you can feel lightheaded or dizzy, and especially if you have heart, a heart condition, then you can have chest pains. Anemia is actually quite common. We think that up to a third of the population has some degree of uh, at least mild anemia. There are, of course, some groups that are more at risk than others to develop anemia. We know that infants, especially during the time where they are transitioning from eating uh, solids uh, instead of only drinking either uh, breast milk or formula are more at risk because the nutrients are more easily absorbed in the breast milk or the formula than in the solid foods. Children and adolescents are more at risk, especially during the growth spurts because they need a lot of nutrients to support the growth and they can lack, especially iron, to make more red cells. And off also because children and adolescents are often picky eaters and their diet may not be diverse enough to get all the nutrients they need. Another group that is at risk is vegetarians and vegans. It is possible to have a very healthy, complete diet um, while being vegan or vegetarian, but you really need to um, be informed. Other people that are at risk are uh, people who are menstruating especially if you have heavy period. Uh, having any type of surgery, especially uh, more invasive surgeries where you lose some blood, uh, puts you at risk for anemia. And uh, having chronic disease, any person with a lot of uh, health conditions or chronic health conditions are more at risk, especially if it involves the gut, like Crohn's or celiac, where you may not be absorbing well or you may be even losing blood from your gut. And older people, uh, older than 65, uh, it's, it's a good idea to get checked, at least get one blood test to see if you have anemia because you are more at risk for, of uh, having conditions that can uh, uh, make you prone for anemia. Being pregnant is also uh, a cause for iron deficiency. You need a lot of iron to make that baby and to support their blood system and to make more blood cells for yourself. And then uh, breastfeeding also because you need, you need iron and vitamins to make the, the milk. And then after delivering, you can be at risk because you can, have, you can lose a lot of blood when delivering a baby. Young children, especially around two years of age, if they're drinking too much cow's milk, they can also be at risk for iron deficiency because of uh, the cow's protein irritating their intestine. So that's why we, we usually say that uh, kids who are older than two should not drink more than two to three cups of milk a day. The way that we find out if someone has anemia is a very simple blood test that we call the CBC or complete blood count. On that test we can see uh, how much red blood cells you have and how much hemoglobin you have and then there's different markers that your healthcare provider will be looking at to help um, start the process of finding out what caused it. The treatment of anemia will vary depending on the severity of your anemia and the cause. If the anemia is very severe to the point where it can be a risk to your life, then the best option is a red blood cell transfusion. If, uh, if it's less severe, uh, then we will look at the cause. If it's a deficiency in nutrients, uh, if you have a very severe deficiency in iron, we may give you IV iron to make it uh, build up faster. Uh, if, uh, but if you can, uh, the really the best way to absorb your iron is by mouth. Um, so we may give you supplements or if it's really mild, we may even just tell you to try and uh, eat more uh, foods that are high in the nutrient that you're missing, like iron or vitamin B12. And if it's uh, other causes like 
uh, chronic disease or cancer, then it would be uh, working on that diagnosis. It's important to note though that you should not take iron supplements if you're not iron deficient. So if you are thinking that you have symptoms of iron deficiency, talk to a healthcare provider first and get it tested um, because having too much iron is also uh, not uh, good for you.